doing it? Are we recording? Okay. Sorry about the phasing. On this side, we have a Sure 57. And on, on this side, we have a Sure 58. Otherwise, we would only be coming in mono on one channel. So, it's really annoying because of the uh, delay echo. So, I'm going to take off the headphones. What I want to show you is how to use uh, a real instrument track and to loop a segment. So right here we've got a real instrument track. I'm using QuickTime uh, screen record and it does not capture the audio from Adobe Audition. So you're just going to have to trust me on this one. Um, what we're going to do is first we're going to highlight the area. I hate when it does that. I don't know what anybody uses this for except for like t-shirt designs. And I don't want this no so let's go back to multi-track there we go all right um so the trick is you got to push control and click it and here's how you loop it right but i'm gonna show you what happens first of all first of all all right let's see let's take it somewhere else right so we've got it somewhere else and we're gonna loop it right now one thing i want to point out real quick is that this bass track is about three minutes long so if we loop this, let's shrink this back up. I don't know any faster way to like shrink and expand. Like you just got to go through this. And I did my best to uh, chop it between 17 and 18. And in Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere, there's this thing called snapping. But I guess with audio, there's no reason for such a thing. So again, I'm going to touch with my hand on the keyboard, the button control. And then I click it. That's the right click for you Mac users. All right, so here's the trick is to convert it to a unique copy. Because if you don't do that, you just loop it. Watch this. It's going to loop the whole track. So if it's a three-minute track, it's going to play all three minutes before looping it. So what you got to do, go back to hold control, click it, go to convert to a unique clip and then you got to re go back and do the loop and then you can loop it <laughs> let's undo that let's try this again for some reason it seems to work better if you move it to another location okay i lied undo undo let's see here let's try this again you know, and the great thing about this is I know it takes a lot of time. But um, you can just charge your clients. Man, what the? I just don't get it. Like, it's just no consistent way to do this. And then we loop it, right? And it's still not doing it. Man, it just, okay. Maybe it's that I didn't double click it. Maybe that's the problem. And now I got to loop it. Let's see. Man, it just, it's, <laughs> is it doing it? Like, what the heck is going on here? Why? That's not how, man, every time I want to do this thing. Okay, so, so we go to here real quick. And then you got to find multi-track. Very, very, this is one of the most efficient programs out there. Um, undo. So you can always come up here and go to, um, yeah, there's a loop. And then where is convert to unique copy? Am, oh, am I not highlighting it? Is that the problem? Convert to unique copy. Boom. Why aren't you doing this? And then let's loop it. So we're going to... Oh, lock in time. Uh, maybe that'll do it. Uh, uh, no, it won't do it at all. All right, so let's... Uh, I'm really... See, I'm really glad. I, I really like that we can just do this efficiently. 
Uh, this is not the first time I'm trying to. Uh... There we go. You see, that's all you got to do. That's what's great about Adobe Audition. You just got to do it like five, six, seven, eight times. And then suddenly it's like, yeah, cool. Oh, that's what you want. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about it. I'm glad I could help you out. If any of you know how to do it without playing this little game, which I mean, it's cool because if you're charging the client by the hour, boom, I just made a dollar off the client playing that game. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like the new age Pac-Man. It's like Galactica or something. You know, it's just awesome. Like I can just sit here and play this game just to loop it and everybody else doing tutorials online, they're showing you how to loop drum loops that they pulled off the internet. I'm trying to show you how to do it with real instruments and you just got to do it like 12 times and magic happens. Thanks.